So you're trying to record in Reaper and the instrument you're using is delayed too much and it's impossible to play in time. Or you hear pops and crackles or playback stutters. So what's going on and how can you fix it? First, a quick explanation. It takes computer processing power and time to process audio. So a sound you play into a computer will come out of the computer a little bit after you play or sing it. The difference between when the sound goes in and the sound exits is called latency. Too much latency and it's difficult to play. Ask your computer to do more than it's capable of and you get pops, clicks, and stuttering playback. So to use any DAW such as Reaper effectively, you've got to find the balance between processing power and latency. Now the first step to reducing your latency is your buffer setting. A buffer is like a waiting room for computer processing. It's essentially spare CPU. So when too much data comes in, the CPU can shuttle it off to the waiting room to process a bit later. This prevents clicks, pops, and stuttering, but increases the waiting time or the latency. High buffer settings are easy on CPU, but have more latency. Lower buffer sizes require more CPU, but have less latency. When you're recording, you generally want latency low, so you set your buffer to as small as you can. When you're mixing, latency is not as important, so you can set your buffer size higher. To set your buffer size, go to Options, Preferences, and Device to find your buffer settings. Check the Request Sample Rate and Request Block Size boxes to control your sound card from Reaper. You control your buffer size by typing a number in here. While we're in the device settings, make sure you've selected your audio system as ACO and select the ACO driver that comes with your sound card as your ACO driver. Now move over to the buffer setting and turn on anticipative effects processing. What buffer settings should you use? I find 256 to be a good setting for me and my old laptop, but it depends on your computer, how technically demanding your music is, and how much else you're asking your computer to do. Try 128 or 64 if you can get away with it, and 512 if 256 still has pops and crackles. Now, Reaper shows you latency in the upper right-hand corner of your screen. At 256, I have 14 milliseconds of latency, which works fine for most applications for me. What if you still have problems? How else can you solve Reaper latency issues? Well, if your audio interface has what's called direct monitoring or input monitoring, that'll help. Direct monitoring lets you hear the signal before it goes into your computer, so it's free from latency. If you don't know if your interface has direct monitoring, do a search for your interface name plus direct monitoring. If you're still having problems, here's what I would suggest in order. First, with your Reaper project open, open your performance window. You can use Control-Alt-P or on a Mac, Command-Alt-P, and then sort by CPU usage by clicking here. And you can see what's draining your CPU. Render or freeze any tracks that are problematic. You can do that easily by right-clicking on the track and going to the Render dialog. And if it's a mono track, you can render to mono stem tracks. If it is a stereo track, you can render to stereo stem tracks. And then make sure the original track is muted. It takes very, very little CPU to play back a WAV file or whatever format you're recording to. So if you have effects on there, uh, if it's a virtual instrument, it may take up a lot of CPU. And you can get away from this by rendering or freezing the track. Now, one simple way to do this is to create a folder track and run everything except what you're recording through that folder and then render that folder. And that way you have a stereo WAV file of all of your music. Let's say you're recording vocals. It has all of your music on it and it's not taking up much CPU because all the virtual instruments and the effects are recorded, printed in that WAV file and it takes very little CPU. This is a non-destructive process, so you can always go back to the original. Here's how you create a folder track. Insert a track. Put it above all the tracks that you wish to have in the folder. 
expand it out, and then just click this little plus. Then you can right click on the folder track and render it to stereo. Next, shut off all non-essential computer tasks. On my computer, I use a piece of software called Wise Game Booster, which looks at things that are eating up memory, eating up CPU, and shuts them off. I also make sure that I don't have any programs running that I don't need. For instance, I have to remember to turn off my backup software, my antivirus program too. Wireless networks can cause problems with pops and clicks, so if you're having problems, turn off your wireless network. At one point when I was having problems, I went through and updated every single driver on my computer to the latest driver, and that solved the problem. Start with the driver for your audio interface. Make sure there's space on your hard drives. Reaper should be running on your fastest drive. Usually that's your main drive. External USB drives are certainly fast enough for your audio files, but the program itself should be on your fastest. If you're running multiple instances of the same plugin, it can be problematic. I've run into this when using guitar amp sims. I might have six or eight tracks, each with the same VST. So switch to a different VST on some track, or render or freeze some of the tracks to take care of this problem. Not all VSTs are coded well, so if you continually have problems with a particular VST, find a substitute. I've also occasionally run into problems running both 32-bit and 64-bit versions of the same plugin, and that's one reason I only install the 64-bit versions if the install program gives me the option. So, learn where the buffer settings are and what settings work best for recording. Learn how to open the performance window in Reaper and render or freeze tracks that are eating CPU. Develop a system for setting your computer up when you're ready to record. You'll be good to go. Enjoy. See you next time.